Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sister Sue Jenkins. Uh, I'm with the Kingdom of God Broadcasting Network. It's a new uh, Catholic Evangelical Television Network uh, that God has given us, and we're in Indianapolis, Indiana. But today we've come to share with you about a tremendous testimony from a rabbi, a Jewish rabbi who was born in Ethiopia, who now lives in Israel. He's going to share his testimony about what God has done for him and is doing and will do. And we thank the Lord for him. What an awesome testimony he has. What a tremendous uh, witness he is to the glory of God. But we want to remind those of you in our viewing audience that uh, who see our programs, who hear our television broadcasts and, and our television programs, uh, as well as our radio programs, we want to remind you how to reach this ministry. You know, we're located here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we have several TV stations here throughout the state of Indiana. But we want to let you know how to reach us first off, because so we wouldn't have to stop uh, the rabbi from giving his testimony to do that. So if you need to call us or write us, simply address your cards or correspondence to Sister Sue Jenkins at Kingdom of God Broadcasting, Post Office Box 4,000, excuse me, 40,000, 40,002, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46240. Our, our telephone number is 317-926-3000. That's 317-926-3000. And also the rabbi, later we we're going to be talking about the book that he's written and how to contact him and, and to get the information, the uh, anointed information God has caused him uh, to, to, uh, to publish uh, for the body of Christ. So we want to do that after the testimony. But now I'd like to introduce you to uh, my good friend. In fact, I'm going to let him say his name so I don't mispronounce his name. Rabbi, welcome to God is Alive. Welcome. Thank you. Thank God you. Bless your heart. Uh, God has done some tremendous things for you. Yes. And we want to hear. We want to know what the God of the Bible has done. You know, nothing's impossible to the living God. The God Amen. who is alive, I tell you, he does all things extremely well. What has he done in your life? Share with us, first of all, where you were born and raised. Amen. First of all, it is a great privilege for me to be with you, sister. So I really appreciate the opportunity that the Lord really use you to broadcast my testimony. Thank and, God for having yeah. me. Thank and you. And my name is uh, Rabbi Kokab Gadamu. I am originally from Ethiopia and I'm Israeli citizen, born in Ethiopia. And uh, I born from uh, uh, a priest that is uh, uh, from the Levite uh, uh, tribe. And my father was a Kohen, a priest in Hebrew. and. Uh, I, I grew up in a very uh, remote area. It's a very uh, uh, really old neighborhood in, in, the, in the village. My mother died when I was five. Oh, bless your heart. Uh, yeah, and uh, I have three sisters and one brother. And according to our Torah and the tradition also in Ethiopia, my father, he was not uh, ready to re remarry. He decided not to remarry then to keep his holiness and then in order to keep to go to the holy of holies in order to serve the lord oh that's wonderful then then instead um he uh, distributed you know the, the children to extended family so he um, kept me alone with him when i was five now being born in a home as you say you born in who were the who were the descendants of the Levites, who really served God in the church in the in the synagogue? So, did you know one day that you would be a rabbi? Was that part of the heritage? Yeah, yeah that, that that's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, because my father, when I was uh, in my my mom womb, he get a vision from the Lord. What was the vision? Yeah, the Lord told him when I was in the womb before I born, mm -hmm. God told him, you know, this son, he's mine. Dedicate him like Samuel yeah. to me. He will be... A prophet uh, to the nation? Yeah, he will be a priest and he serve me on the temple. I see. So he got that vision from the Lord before I born. And after that, after I born, that's why, you know, he's reluctant to send me to the extended family. Instead, he keeps me with him in order to teach me how to serve the Lord. All right, bless your heart. Now, okay, I understand how you're beginning. 
But what did God do? How did he cause you to be the way you are today? What happened in your life? Yeah, since the childhood, really, God is really intervening in my life. And he saved me many times from the valley of death. Even when I was a child, when I was even a child, when my father left me alone on the hut, no electricity, no running water, no good doors. Uh, in the middle of the night, sometimes the hyena came. And then God sent his an angel, and then he prevented me many times from uh, hyena and wolf. And when, I, when I grew up in that situation, uh, and God sent me to Sudan, you know, uh, and the communist government, when we were in Ethiopia, they were not allowed the Ethiopian Jews to go to Israel. Mm. So the Israeli government and the, it, the CIA, I think they, they have some kind of arrangement through the Sahara Desert to go to come to uh, Sudan in order to make Aliyah, you know, in order to immigrate to Israel. So that time, um, I, 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 I have personal relationship with God. And when I was in the school, someone is really gave me testimony about Jesus. Then, you know, I accepted Jesus as my personal savior. Praise God. And that Praise time, I, I hadn't any uh, really supernatural uh, change in my life, but I was, I was interested to read more the Word of God, the Bible. Then when I was in Sudan, and God touched me in a supernatural way, and then I baptized with the Holy Ghost, the Ruach HaKodesh. Praise God. So here you say God touched your life in a supernatural way, and you were baptized. Now you were baptized and for salvation and water and salvation. But also, did you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as what happened to them on the day of Pentecost? Did that come to you at that time or was it at a later time? That, 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 that's really a great uh, miracle in my life. I never practiced that kind of uh, attachment from the Lord. And miraculously, when we were gathering together, when we were praying and fasting, something like lightning side, like a lightning, came to my heart oh, and I, 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 I found myself on the, on the floor almost half an hour. I, never, I didn't know what happened in my life, but I, when I wake up, I start speaking in tongue and Lord. God miraculously changed my life. And then since then, until now, God used me miraculously to deliver uh, the healing power and, and also manifesting demonic activity and cast out the demonic from the people Praise and a lot of people get healed through prayer supernaturally you know from cancer hiv and a lot of a lot of miracles praise be happen. to god praise be to god so while you were out during the time that you were out when you say the holy spirit came in and and, uh, and you were just out like somebody just you know lose consciousness did you hear anything? Did you see anything? Or did you just wake up a half hour later? No, no, actually I was sewing a vision. The vision was really like Elijah, some, someone like Elijah's picture, you know, and oh. then he was holding me and then he was really teaching me something. Oh, but I don't, I don't, I don't really Great. recall it or, or mention it in my flesh things because, but I was in somewhere and then, but uh, I saw myself, it is a very uh, other, other areas, and uh, it's very bright. I can't really explain the, 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 the lightness of the light, you know, it's very, very shiny. And, but I, I, I know that I had, I had conversation with someone like Elijah style, you know, it's a beard, white uh, beard, uh, old fatherhood and then he called me and then he gave me some instructions that was i remember I that see. Time. you know you said you're saying early on how the lord calls you to be a priest and a prophet and it's so apropos that the lord would use a prophet elijah the great prophet elijah in a vision to you so uh that's wonderful now continue to share so how have you seen that play out now in your own life does god give you prophetic messages for the church for his people how does oh that yeah that's why since then we had a very difficult journey, me and my wife, actually. We were walking through Sahara Desert to, to Sudan, staying in Sudan six years with an uh, uh, enemy's country. Actually, as a Jewish, they kill everyone if they, they got it. But 
God miraculously saved us and then moved to, moved to Egypt. And we were in Egypt also. I was serving the church there also as a leader, then moved to Israel. Then when I was in Israel, it was very tough to, to serve the Lord because of the, the Jews. They don't accept Yeshua, Jesus is their Messiah. So they, they, they were very tough on me, especially you know, the Orthodox Jews. Then God really gave me strength and power to go boldness and then to, to preach the good news for those under the darkness. Because Yeshua came from the uh, root of David, you know, according to the prophet Isaiah and Jeremiah. And, and God is really a promised Messiah for Jewish and non-Jewish people. He is the Savior. Amen. No one is accepting Him to save our life. He came to save us. So that's why through that uh, miraculous attachment in my heart, it gives me more energy, encouragement to go forward at any price to save life, to save souls. So that, that, that's my ministry. You know, uh, Rabbi, the Lord has said in his word uh, that no one can come to him except through Jesus Christ. The only one that God has given to come to him is that the man Christ Jesus. And so no one can come to God except through his precious son, which mm -hmm. is indeed our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, and then to be a, a Jewish person who, uh, as we call, not yet completed, and here God has opened your heart and mind to the truth that the only way anyone can come to God, the Heavenly Father, is through his precious son Jesus. So that was revealed to you. That is a great gift in my life. And I, I never regret to accept Yeshua as my personal savior. Not only really expecting expecting eternal life, but while even I am here in, in the, in the, on the earth, even if I have a lot of difficulties in my life, Yeshua is inside me. He gives me comfort, strength, and power. So that, that's really a great miracle in my life that the Lord gave me this chance to accept Yeshua as my own personal savior and then to serve him it is it is a great privilege to serve him oh, you know it's king of king amen. from the land of amen. judah he defeats the, the enemies i've heard oftentimes the lord calls people and different people will run the other way and i said why what an awesome privilege to serve the one true and ever living god you know as a catholic sister as a nun that for me to hear people say they ran the other way when god called personally it's not only a privilege, but it's an awesome privilege. And I think, how could somebody run the other way when it's such a tremendous thing to serve God? Now, see, God has put that in your heart, too, to know that it's, it's priceless. Amen. It's, that, that He allows us to stand in His presence and serve Him. What an awesome thing that is. And so God has put that in your heart to know that that's true. Let me tell you the truth. As I grew up with a very difficult journey since my mother lost when I was five, so I hadn't any joy until I accept Yeshua as my personal savior. After I accept Yeshua, the joy, or as people are saying, how you, you smile every day because of Jesus, because of Yeshua. He's always giving me joy, strength, and power. Always I have hope to see beyond my circumstances. Sometimes the challenge is very hard on me. I have a hope on him. So he always give me energy to go forward, not to give up for anything. So Yeshua is really our strength and power. And that's what he calls each one of us, as the Lord calls us to himself. And we invite Jesus Christ into our heart and life. People don't realize he actually does come in through the precious and the power of the Holy Spirit. He indwells us. He indwells us. And sometimes, though, you don't hear from him and can't see him, maybe you're not really tuned to him, he does live inside. And so as we draw closer to him, he draws closer to us. And praise God that the Lord showed you that in your own life. That uh, And like you were saying, no matter what the outward shows, no matter what the outward shows, no matter what the enemy can bring in our lives, we have to keep our eyes focused on the one true God. Mm -hmm. I say, even though heaven and hell uh, that uh, would, would come to us, I mean, not heaven, but hell would come to us, we got to know that the God of the Bible does live and that he is alive and begin to thank him for what we, what we ask of him because if we ask, we'll receive if we believe it. All things are possible to him who would believe. And I see that's happening in your own life. Amen, yeah. Yeshua 
is even in John chapter 14, he says that I am the way, mm -hmm. the life, and the truth. You know, the world has looking someone to give them guidance and speak the truth and someone who loves them. So Yeshua, he is the true lover and guidance and comforter. He doesn't respect anyone, any, any respect of person. He always looking every person. You know, whether you are poor or rich or black or white, it doesn't matter. Amen. If your heart is open, he always open his heart to grasp you, to guide you, to give you strength and power. So in my life, you know, I can, I can give a lot of my testimony how the Lord really reveals me many times from days, from sickness, from starvation, from homeless. But God gave me another chance and to give me this day even to serve him. So I am not uh, a regretted person. I am always a joyful person to serve him, despite all difficulties, because I am a stranger here. We have another home in heaven. So God is good. So. Amen, God is good. You know, and as the rabbi was saying, no matter what comes in our life, no matter what the enemy brings, the enemy may come in like a flood, but God will raise up a standard against him. Amen. And we're called to, to see it in the in the spirit, not in the natural. And as we begin to see God working our lives in the spirit and begin to thank God, we'll see it come to pass. We thank God that his word is true from cover to cover. We can base our life and our eternal security and all things on the one true and ever living God. And I praise God that the Lord has raised up this rabbi who has got vision and has understanding in God and the ways of God. Thank God for you. And rabbi, I understand that you've written a book about, is it your life's book? Is it a bibliography? Or, or what kind of book have you written? Yeah, the book, we, what we wrote, me and my wife, it is Journey Beyond Imagination. It Jour is. Journey Beyond Imagination. Yeah, because okay. how the Lord guiding us from the childhood to the Sudan desert, you know, we were walking on foot on at night and hiding daytime from the communist government. And then we were drinking from the Nile River. We hadn't any food almost a month. Mm -hmm. And then when we arrived in the desert of Sudan, the border of Sudan, the, the soldiers, they take my wife in order to rape her. Mm -hmm. And then they, they were trying to kill me. But we cried to the Lord, where are you, God? Where are you? you we heard that in, your, in the Bible that you help Abraham, our forefather, Isaac. Where are you, God? Nobody, nobody around us. We are refugees. Even we don't have any connection in the language barrier. Can you help us? And God miraculously sent a messenger and he helping us. That's why it tells a, a life story of how God doing great things. You know, the Lord said, all who call upon him, and all who call upon him truth, God hears. If we call upon him in truth using the name of Jesus Christ, nothing is impossible for those who will call upon the name of the Lord, as the rabbi has done here. Praise God for that. Now, uh, your ministry, what's the name of your ministry? Uh, my ministry is House of Israel International Ministries. It is focusing on the Ethiopian Jews who left over in Ethiopia because of their faith in Yeshua. And the Israeli uh, government is not accept them as a Jewish because they believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Ethiopian government is not accept them as an Ethiopian because they are on the way out. Mm -hmm. These people, they moved from the mountain to the city in order to immigrate to Israel. They stuck on the city, it is almost 10 years. So a lot of people dying with uh, unclean water, starvation, especially the children. So we like to provide them food, clean water, well, drilling well, and then establish their life. So that's my ministry focusing and also encourage them with Yeshua to keep their faith alive. You know what I see? I see these people, he's talking about the, uh, the Ethiopian Jews as a, a chosen race, a royal people priesthood, a people set apart for God's own. You know, for us to be that chosen race, God's people, not only for the Ethiopian Jews, but for all of those who are set apart for God, they're a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people set apart for God's own glory. And God indeed will get glory as we stay on with him, as a rabbi was saying how he is doing and those who are in his, his nation is doing. 
Thank God for those who are the believers in Jesus Christ. That is the only way to the Father. That's the only way to life eternal. And we thank the Lord for that. Now, also, now, if people want to get in contact with you or they want to give to your ministry and help what you're doing, how will they contact you? We have a website, www.hoisrael.org. It is represent House of Israel International Ministries. And then we have phone number 720-987-9951. We will uh, uh, write it, you know, this, this information on the screen and I, I hope they, they can contact us. And God is really moving supernaturally. Right now we have, we have a license with the Ethiopian government just to do humanitarian work and as well as also evangelical work, evangelical mission in Ethiopia. That's a miracle that the Lord gave us this opportunity to minister the poor of poor. As Yeshua said in Matthew chapter 25, if you uh, look after the poor, mm -hmm. Yeshua says that the, you serve me because Yeshua saw the, the poor of poor as his brother. You know, Rabbi, I'm sure there's ways that our viewers, our listeners can, can help you with your ministry and help the precious uh, Ethiopian Jews who are, are of the Lord and deed of God. What, how can we locate you? How can we reach you? How can they reach you? Oh, thank you, Sister, so about this opportunity. Actually, our ministry is starting 2005. We are registered under IRS here, 51C3, and also we have a license also in Ethiopia. So we have a website and postal address and also phone number. So if they uh, Google uh, www.hoisrael.org, represent House of Israel International Ministry, that means Beta Israel. We call them, they calling us Beta Israel one of the lost tribe of uh, uh, the, the right. Jewish, yeah, so, oh. and my phone number is 720-987-9951. We will put also this information on the um, uh, screen. You know, it is a miracle that the Lord really gave us a big doors open for these people, especially who left over in Ethiopia because of their faith in Yeshua. Because the Israeli government is not accept them as a Jewish because they believe in Jesus. The Ethiopian government is not accept them as a citizen because they are on the way up. So these people, they are nowhere. You know, they don't have any place to stay and they don't have any places to grow their farm and they don't have anything. So my ministry is trying just to give them clean water, dig wells and uh, uh, you know, established farm like a chicken farm and cattle system and also build a school and clinic for the, 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 the sick people and also would like to reach out to them also with the gospel so we have a license for that also so I, I encourage people really to look our website and then to do more work. We thank God for knowing about these precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. We thank God for them. We thank God that they are of the Lord. And uh, though the enemy comes in like a flood to defeat these people, these precious Jewish people, these Ethiopian Jews, God is raising up a standard to support and to help the Jewish people. And we ask you to do the same, to help and support them and to help this precious rabbi here to do the same. So do you also have a mailing address? Address, Rabbi. Is there a mailing address? Yeah, our PO box 461262 Aurora, Colorado 80046. Again, uh, PO box 461262 Aurora, Colorado 80046. This is our mailing address and uh, my personal email also K O G E D. A M U Gadam K O Gadamu at Gmail dot com. That way we also they can contact me. Yes, praise God. And also to get his books and his materials that tell more about it and to pray. We ask you to pray for these precious uh, uh, Jewish people, these these Ethiopian Jewish people who love the Lord, who've made a decision that uh, indeed Yeshua Hamashiach indeed is the one true God and our Savior, our Redeemer. King of the universe, we ask you to help to support what he's doing, but mainly pray. Get on your knees and begin to pray for these precious people, our brothers and sisters in the Lord, 
We thank God for them in Christ Jesus. But we also ask you to continue to watch our program. If you need to reach uh, our program, it's, it's uh, God Indeed is Alive. God is Alive. It's Post Office Box 40,002. 40,002. Indianapolis, Indiana, 46240. 46240. Our phone number is 317-926-3000. That's 317-926-3000. And we ask your prayers and, and your support. You know, we're building this new uh, Evangelical Catholic Television Network, Born Again Holy Ghost Spirit-filled Catholics on fire for God. Help us to be able to have such a network that we can indeed help to evangelize the whole church for God. You know, our call from the Lord is to indeed where our brother's call is to be able to help the uh, Ethiopian Jews and to help with God's own there. But our assignment from the Lord is to be able to evangelize mm -hmm. and to help the Catholics, the Roman Catholics throughout the world, over one billion strong, to come to know the Lord and receive him anew as, as their Lord and Savior, and then receive the new life through the Holy Spirit, the empowerment that God gives that he gave on the day of Pentecost. We ask that you would, would contact this ministry. We're building new TV stations here. We need your support. And build, we've got the licenses for six over-the-air TV stations here in the state of Indiana. But we need equipment. We need new digital transmitters and antennas and supportive equipment to get our stations up and running. So we ask you to help us and pray for this ministry. We're talking about a soul-winning ministry. That's what we're about. Mm -hmm. The thing that gets God off his throne and rejoices is when another child comes home to God. That's what this ministry is all about, to let people know that the God of the Bible is alive. When I was a student in college at Indiana University getting a degree in journalism, I had such an encounter. We want all people to have an encounter similar like that, that they come to know the one true and ever living God. Thank God that the God of the Bible is. Yeah. We don't have to pretend in God. Until we see it again next time, we ask God's very special blessing upon your life. As we pray for you, pray for us too. And for this new work of the Lord that God has called us to. The Kingdom of God Broadcasting Network. Till we see you again, God bless you now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye. Let me pray in Hebrew. Adonai Adonai Shalom. Amen. Amen.